Well, part of any good education is, of course, to take field trips to experience what is unavailable in the classroom. Mike Shue reports the Baltimore School for the Arts field trip took them to the other side of the globe. I remember my high school field trips. We arrived in a yellow bus, not an air bus. Warm sandwiches, not freshly caught fish. This is but one of the views of Ghana in South Central Africa as seen by the 16 students from the School for the Arts. They were on a week-long immersion into a vastly different culture, an opportunity to see how artists with few resources adapt and thrive. This is their first day back in Baltimore. As you can tell, senior Abigail Tawiwa is a singer. They needed someone to really remember the song so when we get back we can teach it to everyone. The artists from a third world country teaching art students from Baltimore that art transcends culture, race and country. We are building global citizens. So people who are going to take this experience with them throughout the rest of their lives. Ghana is a peaceful, vibrant country, but it's poor. The Ghanaians inspired the students. They learned art comes from the inside. Being from a rich country is nice, but not necessary to create. These folks don't have the physical resources we think we need, and yet they seem very happy to get started on large projects. Theirs was a week that opened eyes and opened hearts. It didn't matter that they were Ghanaian. We understood it as Americans, and it was beautiful. Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News. Well, well, that trip was made possible by a single donor. If more funding becomes available, the school would like to take additional international field trips.